Hello out there, my name is Milesy and welcome to my channel. We've got a great big thing, great big thing. I told you this week was going to be enormous. Um, so lots of, uh, lots of stuff to look at. I'm trying a new microphone, which you guys can probably see. I think you guys will be able to hear the difference. Um, so I'm not even like, I've done a little bit of testing with it, so I'm not wearing another mic or using another one to make sure because I'm fairly confident this one will sound pretty good actually from what I've been playing with just a little bit the last five minutes. Also I've thrown out my back quite badly so um, this could get interesting but let's take a look at this enormous pile of stuff behind me. Ow! So the first one we have is is there a name on it or nothing? No, there doesn't appear to be, but it is four different beginner embroidery kits. And that seemed like a lot of fun. So let's take a look and see what comes in it. We have a stuck bag. More of these hoops that I took a look at before. And there are these ones that really, really strongly lock. Try to get in here. Ugh, there we go. So yeah, there are these ones. They really strongly lock. I've got that on autofocus. I might take that off. And people in the comments have been saying that they really like these hoops, so I'm excited to try them. We've got four of these. We've got... One of them super lame little needle threaders. I don't like these kind at all. I've never had one I didn't destroy. And four different kits. And here's just one of them. They kind of show you a lot of the basics of surface embroidery. Let's turn off autofocus before it gives everyone a seizure. Try to not get that to uh, reflect on there. But it shows like a lot of the basics of surface embroidery, you can see that on all of them. Uh, there's four of them. There's also some, I don't know, is that sunflowers, daisies, not sure. And then we've got some cactuses. So this looks like a good excuse to, or a good way, I guess, to learn different embroidery uh, stitches and techniques. So let's just open up one of them. I assume they're all going to be the same. And we have our instruction sheet, which kind of shows what some of them look like. So that's kind of cool. They come with floss that feels really soft. I don't know what floss this is. I don't recognize any of the colors right off the bat, but it looks like they are these like pre-numbered cards because of the way it go. And they can support up to 16 colors. We've got two really big, really big chunky big needles. I don't know what size that is. And the printed cloth. And this is some really heavy duty canvas. This I thought you were going to get like this really thin sheet of like, you know, really cheap Joanne cotton, but no, this is really nice. Um, this might actually be duck. So that's really cool. And I've got four of these. Now I know for, if you've ever, or if you've been here for a while, you know, I don't like to do a lot of kits, but for these things, I'm definitely going to make an exception. We'll probably do these ones on live streams. I think that would be a fun place to do them. Uh, get that out of my way. So we've got four of those. Uh, there's the needle threader, four of the hoops. And I'll be taking a really good look at all of these. Where to put everything? Oh, I'm just right down here for now. I don't want that guy to get lost, so I'm gonna put him right here. Then I've got, ow, 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 ow. My back, y'all. Another. Kit. I've got a lot of kits today. Like all of the kits just kind of came in all at once. Uh, this one is, a lot of them don't have their names on them, is the thing. Um, I'm fairly, fairly certain 
that actually it's just occurred to me we're probably getting CXC floss which I've talked about on this channel before um, I don't know if these are all from the same company we've got another one of these hoops now let me take a look at that floss again and we've got the same kind of uh, reference sheet and it shows you how to do the different stitches so that's cool we have got, this is, yeah, I think now that I actually use my brain, this is absolutely uh, CXC floss, which I've talked about on this channel before. Um, that is the polyester Amazon floss. Um, people are also saying you can get it on Wish, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, it's just the Chinese DMC equivalent is what it means effectively. And instead of being Egyptian cotton, it's polyester and it's really nice it's really soft you get a huge amount of it we've got three big chunky needles and then we've got more printed duck i'm really really surprised with the quality of the fabric on these they are they do feel nice and sturdy and the the listing did say that this washes off in water i don't know if that was on the listing itself or if it was like on a question, but I did see somewhere on the listing that they do wash off with water, so that should not be a concern. What else have we got? I don't know what you are. Uh, this came with something, so we'll look at that later and see what it is. We've got, oh, this one. Okay. Oh, this is smaller. It's always hard to tell with these things how big they will be. We've got another one of the hoops. Uh, this one comes in like a cute little paper bag. And <laughs> product, cute dog. And isn't he a cutie? Yeah, this looks like it might be the same brand because we've got that reference thing. And then it shows you how to do the stitches. Nothing on back, nope. We have got all of the floss yeah this is the same floss absolutely willing oops willing to bet that this is cxc um yeah that, that's what it feels like so i don't have any reservations about the floss i've used it before i continue to use it i do think it is pretty decent little floss so there's our big chunky needles they're really sharp but then again this is surface embroidery and then there's our dog on our green duck. So, nice, nice, nice. I'm really looking forward to all of these. Probably not going to do them exactly as they are printed. And then what else have we got? Okay, let's do this one first. Let's do this one first. This is a diamond painting kit. And I've grabbed a few because I think we've all seen diamond painting kits from Amazon. If you're in the Discord, you have seen the unicorn. Okay, that is empty. We have a very famous unicorn that is in the uh, in the Discord that just kind of shows how poor quality some of these kits can be. Now this one, it doesn't have a picture of the design on it anywhere, does it? No, it doesn't. So this one was supposed to be fish. <laughs> Let's see if this one looks like fish. Let me in. Okay. It's a nice small one. We've got... Okay, so we... It looks like the uh, beads might be matched to DMC. However, they don't actually have the same numbers. Yeah, they don't have the same numbers. Um, we have got the usual package of thing. And then, okay, I can see the fish. It's not as detailed as the uh, listing image. Let it, you know, seem to make it out to be. Um, oh no, I lied. I lied. Okay, so they are matched to DMC. You can see that over here. So yeah, there we go. Uh, this one will be super cute. This will even fit on that table easel. Uh, I opened up last week. 
that one's absolutely adorable. And I'm really hoping uh, that the table easel makes it to where I can do more projects like painting and diamond painting and things without destroying my back, which is exactly what I did. Uh, that tile that I showed you last week, um, because these have all been filmed back to back. That painting that tile and then I did something else the day before, just two days of doing that on this desk has killed me. It has. Um, what have we got here? We've got, okay. So this is a really big thing that might be what this came with. It's the weirdest, absolute weirdest kit I've ever seen because this all comes together. And I don't understand what some of these are. Not you. I don't understand what some of these have to do with diamond painting at all, but you know what? It seemed like a fun thing to look at regardless. So the first thing that I've got here is, let me in, a light pad. And I believe that's probably what that cord was. Let's, uh, So yeah, this is just one of those LED light pads. Um, and the idea is that you put something down and then you can trace over it. I'm not sure what that has to do with diamond painting. And then, yep, it just plugs in right there. Let's take a look and just see how bright it is. I've, I have a really big one that someone just DIY made. And it is nice, the problem is it's enormous because the guy that made it uh, did these huge oil paintings. Oops. So he made it for huge oil paintings, which makes sense. I'm trying to plug this in. Thing is, I don't do huge oil paintings. I do tiny things. Okay, it's in there. So yeah, the idea, if you've never seen one of these, is that you would put this down and then you would not going to work very well. Put that down and you can trace through. You can kind of barely see that. I know that's very bright. But yeah, you can trace through. And the... Ugh, turn off. There we go. What I will very likely be using it for is doing pencil sketches and then refining those pencil sketches onto better paper. So that is very likely what that will be used for. Let's unplug it. And then this was weird, but it took me a second to realize why this was included. Oh, it's big. This is an iPad stand. I don't need this. Uh, my iPad is actually in a really nice case as it is. But let's take a look at it anyway, because it could always come in handy later on down the road. So that goes here. And then that goes here. Yeah, okay, I see. I see. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, neat, okay. So it is somewhat adjustable, so. It's got two different levels of adjust. And it occurred to me why this came with this set. And it was pretty obvious as soon as I realized it. So many patterns now are just digital PDFs and people want to put them on their iPad or on their tablet. They don't want to have to, um, yeah, print out a bunch of paper. So that's what that's for. That's for if you're doing your heaven and earth and you're just transferring it over, they've given you a nice little stand for your tablet. There's something in my eye. And then it also came with all of this. And all of this is going to be very beneficial for me. So we've got loads of little bags. We've got a uh, one by three. That one's really tiny. I don't know what that is, but a bunch of different styluses in a bunch of different sizes. Some Enormo ones, some little basic ones. Um, one of them is clear. That's weird. <laughs> And then we've got another pair of tweezers. We've got this pair of tweezers. 
We have got some Griffies. Got another one of these. Oh, actually, I think I like the one I've already got better, but you know, I've got another one of those. I've got this. It's a bead tray. I don't know what that's all about. I'm sure I'll figure it out. More grippy. Um, these are the kind of trays that we are going to be putting out with the Kickstarter kits. You'll be getting these bead trays. Which is kind of a shame because I prefer the green ones. But at the same time, I went with uh, what was available. We have got... Ooh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Some little containers for your drills. So, at this point now, bleep, bleep, I can like sort of begin to kit up the projects that I get. We've got a bunch of different colors there. I like that. We've got an absolute butt ton of labels for it. Uh, some of the labels are a little sad looking, but that's fine. Uh, but we've got labels for them that look like they're meant to be removed. Uh, this, I'm not sure what that is. I have an idea what that is, but I don't know. It doesn't actually come with any instructions. We've got a whole bunch of wax pads, so that's nice. Um, more bags. More grippies. And some clips, which I assume are to clip on whatever you're doing onto that thing. Um, my thought actually might now be, which might make sense, a way to light your canvas up from behind. Let's see, I unplugged it, but let me see. <laughs> Crap, there's so much stuff. That was a really big one. But I feel like that might be to light up your canvas from behind so that you don't have to deal with the glare of the light coming down. Because that is one thing I have noticed with this stuff. Is that as you're working on it with the lights overhead, all you can see is the sparkle. So, oof. If I were to put this down here, let's grab some of these clamps if it will let me in. Ugh. There we go. And I bet, oops, I touched it. But if we clamp this right here, uh, probably goes the other way, yeah. So clamp you down there. I keep touching it. <laughs> That's really sensitive, okay. That might become a problem. on. There we go. So I bet, yeah, if we do this and now we turn it on, I think that's exactly what this is for. Uh, cause yeah, like you can see right through it. You can see all of the, um, all of the symbols really nicely. And then I've got my symbol chart over here. So yeah, I bet that's exactly why it came with this and all of these funky little clamps. Whether or not I wind up using it that way, we shall see because I don't think that's going to work super great for filming. I wanna unplug you so I don't accidentally turn you on. Um, I think this stuff I'm just gonna dump back in here. Probably the best. I wonder if this is meant to clamp down on here somehow. I think it absolutely is. So it looks like, yeah. It looks like that's the point of that so that you can't accidentally knock it over. And then does that, look at that. So if you accidentally knock, knock onto your thing, it's just gonna spill into there. That's not going anywhere. That's cool. That's worth it right there. Again, though, I've got a really nice stand for my, or case for my iPad, so I probably won't be using that too much. Tweezers. There we go. Okay. Whole bunch of stuff that, uh, 
will very likely come in handy because I'm getting a bunch more diamond painting kits as well. Um, I'm getting a bunch of diamond painting kits. There might even be more embroidery kits coming. I'm not sure. Um, but I know there's a bunch of stuff. This one now is, I wasn't sure. It, I had to read the listing like three or four times to figure out what was going on with this. And on the list, is this the right one? This might not be the same one. Um, this might be a different one that I forgot I had ordered. Yeah, this is a different one. <laughs> anyway, we have got some little craft boxes. Ugh, I like punch myself in the face with it. And I believe these ones are all going to be identical. There's another one that was a set of three where they were all a little bit different. So this one, they lock really nicely. I got this one though because the dividers are movable. I don't believe the middle ones come out. Those two in the middle here. Um, you can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. I don't believe these ones come out, but all of these do on all four of them. Um, and that's why I liked these ones because I think the ones that came with the set aren't going to work super well for one very, very specific reason, which is that some of these have a lot of one color. So if I were to, let's say, come over here. Would those all fit? Probably not. I don't want to do this on camera right now, but I am definitely going to take all of my diamond beads, take the labels that they give me, and yeah, I think make it easier because these suck. Uh, the bags, I don't know. We'll see if I like the bags, but that was kind of what I wanted to see is if I could find any easier storage for these kind of things and for beads. Uh, so I grabbed a few different options and these ones, I like them, they're nice and compact. I wish, I really, really wish those middle ones could come out, but I mean, this is pretty cool too though. So like if I needed to, that entire top row could all just be black and then that's the next one, and then there's the next one, and then, oh, these two are really small. So yeah, like that seemed like, I just headbutted my microphone. That seems like it'll be a really cool, a really cool little thing. Let's put everything back. And these come four in a package. And what I need to do, I actually forgot to do it on the first one. Uh, luckily, none of the other ones have gone out. I need to include links to all of these for you guys. I forgot to do that on the first one. I will go back and do that. By the time you see this, it will already be done. And then we've got this one, which uh, very rapidly running out of room. Ugh. We have got, you guessed it, four more embroidery kits. I knew you were going to come in handy again. Ugh, backwards. So yeah, this one, again, it looks like it might be the same brand as the other ones. Let's try to figure this out. Cause yeah, they look like they come with, uh... ooh, yeah, no, this is definitely that CXC floss absolutely that CXC floss which actually because I've just noticed they come with these I think these are bamboo they come with four really nicely sized hoops so this might actually be a different brand it's always hard to tell it's always so hard to tell so we've got four bamboo hoops we have got yeah, this one can package really cool um, we have got a water erasable pen. At least I believe it is. Please try with a piece of wasted cloth before use. Take tap off with hands, not with a mouth. Not with a mouth, okay. Um, got a pin cushion. 
Did you know that I am allergic to strawberries? We have got some, oof, another one of these, which I have already lost the other one that I said I was going to set aside. I see it. So we've got another one of these. We have got some interfacing. Nice. Uh, which is the iron side? I can't tell. It's super sheer. But that's definitely what that is. We have got two big pieces of canvas. This is not printed. And I'm vaguely worried because that one feels awfully small. Oof. That is a very narrow margin. I don't know if you can see that very narrow margin. And then we have got many, many skeins of CXC floss, which, yeah, you can see this is all color matched to DMC. Like, I bet that one's going to be 444. Yes, it is. So we've got all of that. Then let's take a look in here. Oh. Okay, um, I just noticed something weird. Four hoops, two pieces of loose fabric, a bunch of floss, and then we've got these things. So that is the same brand, because those look absolutely familiar. And then we've got, those look familiar. And then that's printed. That one's cute. And then we've got the same thing over here. So that's interesting. Let me look at the wow box again. Okay, yeah, like looking at the box, it only comes with two designs, but that's cool. Okay, so I get it. So it comes with two designs that show you how to do it. And then you get the pen and a whole bunch of free form stuff. So it looks like the idea is that here's two that we will teach you how to use. And now here's two for you to do yourself. That's actually really cool. I'm into that. That's super cool. Uh, over there, don't wanna lose that either. And then I think this is the last one which is just four, six, six um, painting canvases. I can't remember how big they are. Um, I'm going to guess about 10 by 14 is my guess. They're pretty big. Um, but yeah, these will be something that I'm definitely going to have some fun with. Um, I have some ideas for what I want to do with these ones. I have a few ideas. I just, ow, moved, and it hurt my back. Okay, ow. <laughs> but yeah, this one was really, really, really enormous. Super enormous. So yeah, this one was a little bit longer than uh, the other ones, but lots and lots and lots of really cool stuff with it. Uh, hopefully I can cut this down to not be enormous. And this was why I decided I'm just going to film everything back to back and then put them out each week. So if I had done all of these with everything else I've got this week, it would be ridiculous, but this is where we are at. Lots of stuff, absolutely a lot of stuff, but I'm looking forward to doing a lot of it. Not today, my back hurts. I've got Kickstarter stuff I need to do anyway. Um, you guys are probably sick of hearing about that by now, but Hopefully it will all be over soon. But yeah, lots of really cool stuff. I'm really excited for a lot of these. I don't do a lot of kits, but since the kits that I got aren't cross-stitch, these are surface embroidery, and it's something that I've uh, wanted to do. It's like something I meant to even do with Hope Broidery, and then it just never happened. So I'll be doing these probably on live streams, um, whether here or on Twitch, I am not sure. Also, I keep forgetting to mention that I am putting affiliate links for everything down in the description below. If you use those links, that really helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but that will give you a list of everything that you have seen in this video today. 
and you can go check them out and uh, take a look at them if you want. But yeah, there we go. Lots of stuff. Um, I am going to be spending a good chunk of this week figuring out where to put it all. That is what has been going on behind me these last few videos. And probably by the time this goes out, you will have seen what it actually looks like. So that's cool. That's cool. But I am exhausted. My back hurts. I'm going to go get some coffee and um, just take it, <clears throat> take it easy for the next few days because I am in pain, but yeah, really looking forward. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Make sure you turn on notifications if you want to see every video because that seems to be the only way to do it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.